Hey man, what's good? What's up everybody? It's your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. I haven't done one of these little interactive videos with you guys in a little bit. And as you know, as I've said, I'm trying to, you know, cool off a little bit until Bound for Glory comes up. And then, you know, we'll get it cracking from there. Pump up the, the uh, you know, the content here on the channel a little bit right now, just kind of focusing on podcasts. With that being said, the uh, first episode of the Cool Factor podcast by myself and TW, we debuted that last week. And uh, this podcast is going to be, you know, it's not going to be a long drawn out review. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, long drawn out reviews. You know, I know people who do long, long reviews, you know what I mean? Regardless of what uh, promotion you follow, there's always people who like to take things match by match. But for the sake of being different and doing things different than I have done it in the past, uh, you know, we're just going to we just hit the the points that are, you know, the, the most important major parts of the show, myself and TW. I think we have some good chemistry and we just we just talk about it. You know, I come from a marketing standpoint. He comes from a television standpoint. We take that knowledge, put it together and talk impact. So if you haven't checked out that first episode of that podcast, do so. And and, and again, you know, if you like long podcasts, you know, we're just doing something different. That's all it is. Not uh, not putting down anyone who does you know, anything longer than that. Uh, but that being said, okay, the topic I wanted to talk to you guys about today, um, and it's a couple days old, but it, you know, it came across my email and I figured, hey, I hadn't talked about this yet, but Impact's viewership was down. They're starting to report the viewership numbers a little bit. Uh, we don't totally know the demo. The couple demo numbers that have come out show that Impact has a much older audience. And you and you you know that by watching the commercials, um, Lipazine and and uh, you know the Access TV commercials was showing the uh, you know groups from the '60s and all that, so so you know that already. But um, we don't totally know what those demographics are. But you know they, they I guess they've been averaging around 155,000 viewers, and that's that's coming from PW Torch. Uh, you know, so we don't know how accurate it is. I've never really had an issue with how PW Torch reports in the past, but those numbers have come down though. Uh, this last episode is, it looked like it was at 102,000. And, you know, to compare, uh, Lucha Underground used to do about 100,000, 115,000 every week. You know what I mean? So it's still, uh, it's obviously a lot lower than what they want. Now, the question has come up because they went up against NXT on this Tuesday. NXT, to my knowledge, records a live broadcast. And people are going to choose a live broadcast over taped any day of the week. Um, I was telling someone the other day on Facebook... You know, that's if I was watching Impact, I was like, well, the, the NBA is on. You know what I mean? I'm a, you know, I've said it a few times. I'm a bigger NBA fan than I am a wrestling fan. So if uh, that's on, I'm probably going to watch that over Impact. Most likely than not, it's live sports. You know what I mean? And then I'll watch Impact the next day. So there is an issue with going up against live television. Now, I have seen some rumors, but of course, I don't follow NXT all that closely. But I've seen some rumors about, you know, Impact possibly, um, not impact, but NXT possibly moving to Tuesdays permanently to you know to run unopposed, <laughs> you know instead of going up against AEW Dynamite where they seem to lose every week. Now, AEW, um, NXT, I'm sorry, did really well on that Tuesday, and Impact's numbers were down. So the question the question arises, you know, should Impact move to Thursdays or move to another day? I don't think they should be jumping around. Um, acting scared you can hear my kids screaming in the background i'm sorry um i don't think they should be you know scared of the competition you know i think they should embrace it for the most part i think they actually go up against AEW dark right now which i know is kind of different um i think that show sucks personally but i, I know that that's on youtube um but i don't think they should run from it i think they need to look at how the show is is presented right now. And I think they do a good job every pay-per-view of switching up the music, switching switching up the theme song, the graphics, uh, I mean, the video packages, all they do, 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 they do a pretty good job of that. Um, but I think they need to look at that now and say, okay, how do we how do we make tweak things and make it just a little difference, change the presentation uh, to get people excited for uh, the current product when we have this competition to go up against. So, you know, really long story short, I don't think they should, they should, uh, you know, change dates. I think that they should look into doing a replay, perhaps on Thursday nights. You know, I think they should keep the Tuesday and then um, sit, take Thursday. I think that's a, a wrestling list night. Uh, you know, they Am Anthem owns the network, so put a, a replay of Impact um, Thursday. You know what I mean? And I, I bet you you would get those viewers that you didn't have before. You'd probably get that and then some, to be honest with you. 
uh, because there's some people who just can't watch live on Tuesdays, you know? Um, I know that running Tuesdays and Thursdays is difficult because you go up against NBA on TNT a lot uh, during the regular season, that is. So um, I would I would stay the course. I would focus a little bit more on the on how can we get people uh, more excited about Impact Plus. And I, I preach that all the time, but how can we get people more excited about Impact Plus so that maybe if they, they do tune into um, NXT that week for whatever reason or, or every week, you know, they say, okay, well, um, it's going to be on on the impact plus, you know, this many days later, and then, then look at impact plus and be like, how can we put on some more content on there? That's going to make it just more exciting and more make people want to be more involved and to be more um, involved with that app. You know, I have that app. I haven't fired it up and, and how Lord knows how long I'm going to do it this week. Cause I want to hear Max Stryker on explosion. Um, so, so I'm going to check it out, but that's what I would do. How, you know, how can we make impact plus more engaging to, to make, you know, people want to watch, impact on there if they miss it and then to look at thursday as a replay put it on but I, I wouldn't run from nxt and and get scared and you know okay we got it because they just keep moving nights and you know we know that wwe's uh not raw obviously but smackdown has been moving nights over the years and at times impact has been trying to mirror that and that's bad branding for them you know um or you know i just wouldn't do that i would just stay the course say hey tuesdays is going to be our night we're going to be committed to it and we're going to be committed to this replay and, you know, bumping up the quality of Impact Plus um, so that you guys can continue to watch this program and get excited about it. And you know me, I, I'm also going to throw in there, change the marketing strategies, uh, change the social media set strategies, how can we make it different? And because you got to say, you know, when Impact airs on Tuesday, you want people to who missed it to watch it Thursday. You don't you know, a lot of the time they give away so much on their social media that which is nothing wrong with that but because they do that if you miss the show people aren't totally inclined to to go back and watch it you know what i mean um and then also if you air on thursdays uh you know you'll get some good plus threes off that so you know that's what i would do but i just wanted to kind of talk about that with you guys put some content here up on the channel you can give your thoughts uh in the comments whatever you want to say about it um and i think i want to do I was gonna show you guys something, but I can't find it. So next time I record, <laughs> I will show it to you guys. But for now, um, I am out, gotta go make dinner. Um, peace.